think through this video we'll be learning about pb copy and pb paste i'm going to show you in short in this video how to use it efficiently so actually pb copy and pb paste is a built-in tool that comes with mac right so you do not have to install it on your computer so what does pb copy that pb in short is like pasteboard copy is like copy so it means takes a standard input and places it in the clipboard buffer pb paste means it takes the data from the clipboard buffer and writes it to the standard out so let me show you the man page the moment i wrote pb copy actually it showed me two of the steps here pb copy and pb paste so basically copy and paste something right so when you copy let's say some text some content from a file you could actually copy and paste those contents using this command to your clipboard or pasteboard in chart they also call it pasteboard If you see the description it says pb copy takes the standard input and places it in the specified pasteboard and here is a bit more so which pasteboard you want to copy your paste from for example i'm not gonna go into that i don't really use it in my regular job let's say daily work but i think this is enough to to learn this tool press q on your keyboard for example to get out of this so let's say i wanted to write something let's say i want to echo something you can pipe it to pb copy so what is gonna happen it's not gonna give you the output as something right so it's gonna be actually copied to the clipboard so let's enter so i press the enter on my keyboard so i do not see the output in general if you just type in these you're gonna see something right but if you type this one for example you're gonna see nothing and now let's say if i if i just say pb paste p a s t e it's gonna give you something so this was actually copied to the clipboard and when we said pb paste it actually pasted the content to the standard output right so basically writes to the standard output not pasted well paste is basically right in this context really nice so let me show you something let's say i have got a file let's say i just say pb copy and i have a file here called test.sh and let me show you what i have in this file so test.sh has this stuff it's the dummy basically stuff in this file so now what i have done actually i copied the entire content what i have in this file into the clip so let's do the test so let me clear the screen so now I'm gonna type pb paste and if I type that you can see the content in here let's say I wanted to write this is very useful command so let's say I wanted to write something here to let's say somewhere else let's say I call it test dot let me show you something else let's say I create the file test dot txt I'm just showing you some dummy stuff and then now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write this stuff so if I say pb paste and then i'm gonna write it to instead of the less than sign you use greater than sign to write this stuff in here so now if i do this txt you can see the content right so this is really cool let me show you something else so let's say i wanted to search something that actually existed on that file let me put a grep command so let's say i'm gonna go for image i think i had image here so let's say I'm going to search for this particular keyword in this file, which is test.txt. So I'm going to search for this particular word. So find me all the matches for this keyword from this file. Okay, so I'm going to specify where this file is actually. So txt. So it's actually in my desktop. You can see I'm on my desktop. And then I'm going to pipe it. Let's say I'm going to pipe this to pb copy. So what actually I have done right now, all the matches that I have from this file will be copied to my clipboard. And then now if I just say pb paste, you will see the matches are actually pasted here. So there was only one match. So if you go here, there is no more image, right? So there is only one match. The result is actually outputted here. Isn't it? cool so let me show you one more thing so let's say if i'm here um to finder this is just to show you and if you go to edit option and you go to show clipboard like you go here to the finder and from here to edit and then to show clipboard it tells you the latest one so you will get the latest result all the time here so image postgres so Let's say if you are interested to get all the clipboard history, right? Let's say for a particular days, 
let's say x amount of days this tool doesn't give you the the answer for it so what you have to do in this case you need to go to app store and there are a couple of tools which actually does this so you could say alfred this tool actually is pretty good so you could download this tool and configure it that will help you to you can see here you can do the search there is also other tool called iClip for mac you can see clipboard manager so this is also good so it means that iClip saves the clipboard every time you copy in any app i'm not actually using it it's not free so if you google you'll get a lot of them but alfred is free you don't have to pay anything all right so for the linux user so if you are on linux what will be the equivalent command for this so you're gonna say on linux you need to install this and then i think that tool is called excel this is for linux user for linux users so if you're on windows you can just use this instead of pbcopy you could just say clip so it's gonna take it to the clipboard so anyway i hope you find this video useful if it is interesting to you do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next session bye bye